Hello, I'm Bronson with Maglewood Gaming, your source for all the things we want to show you. And uh, a couple weeks ago, we were at Colossal Con 2018, um, and some of us in our group purchased kimonos from Tangerine Mountain, and I really enjoyed the one I got. The price was really affordable, so I go. I decided to go ahead and go online and purchase this. What I have in front of me here is a large uh, kimono box from Tangerine Mountain, which I, I'll link to in the description below. Um, and this is sort of like a random selection of kimonos, I guess. I'm not 100% sure what's going to be in it. It's sort of like a mystery box. and. Uh, I, they do have really awesome names on Tangerine Mountain's website, and this one was named Cheshire Cat because I guess everything that's in this is going to be like purples and pinks and that sort of stuff, which, um, yeah, in case you couldn't tell, kind of like purple. Uh, so what they said is in here are like used, uh, everything they sell is vintage and used. And, but these ones are supposed to be really more for taking apart and making new kimono out of. So I guess there could be things like moth holes and some sort of like damages and, and just stains maybe and stuff like that. But I'm just really excited to see what's in it. So I sort of rushed home and just threw some clothes on and I'm like nasty from work still. But who cares? I just really want to see what's in this box. So we're going to open this up and take a look. It's thoroughly taped. And I can see it's at capacity. And yes, I'm being careful not to cut into anything. Okay, let's see here. This looks like a lovely gray obi. Um, very nice pattern to that. Let's see if you can sort of see that on the video. Just gonna unfurl that the rest of the way. See what's like. Oh yes, and it does have this sewed together, and it's nice and long. That's gonna be quite lovely. This must be another ob. This is like. A gold, silver, sort of orange embossed print. And looking at it, I see this doesn't even look really all that aged. Maybe, maybe just slightly, but it's just gorgeous on there. That pattern is really beautiful. Ooh, this is like, this is like a peachy pink. Oh, this is beautiful right here. Oh, this is a kimono jacket. It's light and this like beautiful peach color. Um, just, oh, let's see. Just gonna toss it on here. Oh yeah. That is a nice jacket. Oh, that's just... That feels nice. That looks nice. I'm trying to see... Take it off again. Where there are... Really any damage. I'm not really seeing any damage or aging or staining even on this one. Okay, there's one little teeny spot, but it's on the inside. Maybe if I looked over it more closely, but right now I'm gonna get on the other stuff. Oh, this is just, oh, that is an amazing purple. Look at that. A button-up jacket. The liner is nice. Hmm. 
might be a little small for someone of my build, but. Very nice vintage. Make some adjustments on the sleeves and it should fit me fine. Or I can steal some of the fabric from this one. But I love the color. It's also like, I don't know, 95, 100 degrees Fahrenheit in this room I'm recording in right now. So it is sticking to me. Yeah, I just ripped it a little bit. But either the fabric is just gorgeous. So that might be details um, on something else down the road. Um, well, now I think we're getting into the meat and potatoes of the, of the stuff here. This, yeah, this is a little worn. Oh, definitely worn. Someone wore this a lot. Um, it's just a nice natural purple. There's a little bit of a wear. Sweat maybe. Definitely an older rayon kimono. Still not bad. A uh, little small for me, but I know some people that might like it and I can always use the fabric. But yeah, very little damage. The only like real wear is on the collar. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's the only real wear I see on there and just general aging of fabric. This is just a beautiful pink. Wow, yeah. That's pink with like a silver sparkle to it. And no holes, no staining. This looks like something to stay on the shelf. Oh, it looks like there's a snap in the back to keep the color nicer. Let's get that nice fold to it. Okay, and Oh yeah, this this one is just beautiful as is. That is lovely, just as it is. Like there's, I see zero flaws in this one, and it's just a lovely, gentle pink. And it's light, which is good because the first kimono I bought from them is definitely heavy. Yeah, I'm unceremoniously just tossing them aside. I know, mistreatment of kimono, right? It looks like the last thing we have in here is this pinstripe kimono, which is interesting. Okay, that's just dust from the bottom of the box. I don't see... I don't see any flaws with that. I see no mothles. This one, besides the dust that's on it from the box, looks brand new.
these would be a whole lot easier to try on if it wasn't 800 degrees back here. But yeah, why don't I'm just going to back the camera off a little bit here. Not that bad. Um, I'm definitely happy with what I got. A couple thinner ones, a couple thicker ones. Just two, two of these kimono. This kimono I'm wearing, and this pink kimono here. I don't know they're practically flawless. Like this is brand new. I mean, it's not brand new, but it's like as good as new. Beautiful colors, and definitely the colors they 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 said they would be. This is sort of a dusty pink. This is a, a rose, a purpley rose. This is a just a another rose pink. Just very beautiful, dark purples, and then like we got like this. This jacket. It's even got the ties in there. Just very nice. Uh, all in all, I'd say I'd recommend them again. Uh, I'd probably buy a different color set next time, but for affordable kimono, like this is, this is a way to go. Anyways, thank you for watching and bye.